Hi guys, today I would like to show you my new chain drive. This is something what I developed for me especially but also my friends ask me if I can produce this for them so I have a slightly bigger lot so let's uh, check it. So there are two, two mounts. Uh, this one are shorter, lighter, this one, this one are a little bit uh, more universal we can say so uh, both have three positions for the mounting 0 plus 20 and minus 20 both have uh, the possibility to use uh, crossbar there are the two position there is one there are the holes for the uh, for the idler so you can use this also there are the holes uh, pre-cut it for the treat so you can just uh, cut here treat uh, or increase it uh, based on your needs and put here the bearings classic skate bearings uh, skate bearings and here there is a, a same uh, size like here for the for the crossbars and you can extend it for the for the idlers if you need this uh, there are also the two two position for crossbars because some people like um, use this like a handle so that's the reason why it's here and uh, this one have a special function because we are talking about the chain so uh, this is designed uh, specially for the combination for uh, this pinion and this uh, sprocket and uh, 44 segments chain it's a chain uh, 06b European standard and uh, the function is here um, I will describe how it works this is the mounting position here you have the position we can say the working position for the chain so right now you have the chain slightly tangent with slightly tangent and uh, if the chain um, during the lifetime will be slightly uh, slightly mm, uh, extend you need to again put a chain uh, tension to this uh, to this uh, system so slightly move it here and if you will reach this end position that's mean that your chain is extend 3% of their length and must be immediately replaced because can be broken so with this chain drive uh, chain drive and with this uh, mounts you don't need double checked length of your chain the end stop here is saying to you it's too much change it and for example this uh, this chain drive it's uh, sorry this uh, mount is uh, mainly used for chain but you can use it also for the belt it's up to you because there is a really big range of the length it's uh, one it's a 10 centimeters 90 and 11 centimeters so you can use whatever pulley you want uh, this aluminium what i used is a 70 75 aluminium it's a strength one you can buy also the clamp here there are the four holes and four holes there is just treat from the one side because it's too wide it's so it means it's really robust to fix your fix your uh, mount on place uh, but it's too too deep uh, for the cutting the treat therefore the treat is from the one side just and uh, sprocket from steel remove it material to have it uh, much lighter pinion pinion it's uh, with hardened tooth yeah so there is a eight millimeter uh, shaft needs also the k-way two time m5 screws and hardened tooth and there are the washers or spacers we can say for the for the sprockets uh, you can take your hub you will just remove the nuts here put 
those nuts here everywhere then cover it you can see you will cover it like that you will put it sprock it like that and you will screw it from this side and that's it uh, maybe I forgot to say that this is for Matrix 2 and uh, this is for uh, Rockstar 2 5 star and Rockstar Pro just uh, these washes needs to be changed so based on your wishes I will also uh, give you the right spacers uh, by the way this is uh, developed to have optimal wear that's the reason why the, the ratio is 9 35 and 44 um, segments for the chain because this is the really great uh, great setup for the optimum wear of complete system and also this is the minimum dimension for the hubs of the MB for the MBS what you can use so this is the we can say a lightweight lightweight uh, system what you can have yeah so if you like it uh, subscribe my channel if you would like to know more uh, just uh, send me a message or uh, comment it below thank you so much for your attention and uh, have a nice evening guys